I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a test question on integration. You need to find integral of square root of 1 minus x square dx. You can pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now to find this integral, we can substitute x equals to sine x, right? sine theta let's say. So let's substitute x equals to sine x. Uh, I should say sine theta, right? x equals to sine theta. In that case, what is dx equals to? Derivative of sine theta is cosine theta. So cosine theta d theta. That is the derivative of this particular function. Now 1 minus x square will be equal to what? We can just put this uh, into integral and then solve, right? So we'll just substitute these values. So the question now becomes integral of square root of 1 minus x is sine theta. So we'll write this as sine square theta dx is cos theta d theta, right? So that becomes the equation. Now we could write this as 1 minus sine square theta is cos square theta. So that is cos square theta times cos theta d theta, right? Now this could be written as that is cos theta itself, right? Cos theta times cos theta d theta. And we can write this as integral of cos square theta d theta, right? So, so the given question could be written as cos square theta d theta. Now, we can write cos square theta in terms of cos 2 theta, right? So, we will do that now and then uh, simplify it further. So, what we will use is, is that, you know, uh, cos square theta could be written as cos 2 theta. The formula is cos 2 theta equals to cos square theta minus sine square theta or you could write 2 cos square theta minus 1. So that gives you a link, right? So from here, you can actually rearrange and write cos square theta as equals to cos 2 theta, taking 1 on this side, plus 1 divided by 2. Is it okay? So we are going to use this trigonometric identity to further simplify and then find the integral, right? So, so we could write this as integral of so instead of cos square theta, I'm writing this as cos 2 theta plus 1 divided by 2 d theta. Is it okay? So we just change to cos 2 theta. Now this is a much, much simpler integral to find, correct? So we have cos 2 theta divided by this. Now half is a constant, so we could always write this outside. So we have half here. So we will find integral of... Uh, cos 2 theta plus 1 d theta, right? So that is what we are going to find. Now what is integral of cos 2 theta? Cos 2 theta integral is sine 2 theta divided by 2. And for 1, it will be theta, right? So I'm sorry, there's no need to write integral plus c, right? So that is the integral of cos 2 theta. So what we get here is, it is half of half of sine 2 theta divided by 2 plus theta. Now we have done the substitution x equals to sine theta. So we have to get back our original variables. So we have, uh, let me rewrite using a different ink. So we had x equals to sine theta. So theta will be equal to sine inverse x so we that is for theta now how about sine 2 theta okay now sine 2 theta could be written as 2 sine theta cos theta correct now to find the value of sine theta and cos theta what we can do is we know sine theta is x so we'll construct a right triangle now this is a very standard way of working whenever trigonometric functions are involved. 
we always make a right triangle and then uh, write down the value. So, so when we say sine theta is x, that means opposite over hypotenuse is x, right? x over 1. If this is x over 1, then what is this side equals to? This will be 1 minus x square, right? 1 square is 1, 1 minus x square, square root. So that becomes the adjacent side. So from here, we can write down what is 2 times sine theta. We say 2 times sine theta we know is x, okay? And cos theta is square root of 1 minus x square divided by 1. So that is the value of sine 2 theta. So replacing all these values here, we can now write that the integral of square root of 1 minus x square dx is equal to half of this. We'll just multiply all with half. So half, let me do it. We'll open the bracket later. Sine 2 theta by 2. So sine 2 theta is 2 sine theta cos theta. So we'll write this first as 2 sine theta cos theta and uh, divided by 2 plus theta plus c, right? So now we have found that this 2 and 2 cancels off. And so we are left with sine theta cos theta. So we'll just, we 2, 2 we cancel. Sine theta is x for us. So we have x and cos theta is square root of 1 minus x square, right? And uh, we have theta, which is equals to sine inverse of x, we have plus sine inverse of x plus c, right? So that is what we get. So, so that is what we get. So our answer now here is that we will now open this bracket, multiply by half, and write down the answer as uh, x square root of 1 minus x square divided by 2 plus sine inverse of x divided by 2 plus the constant c, right? So that is how we can actually find the derivative of this particular function. So it's important to understand that when you have this kind of a function to deal with, trigonometric substitution is, is good to go. I am Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.